what do you make of, <laughs> there's so much going on today. Um, I mean, it's tough to decide where to start, whether it's Japan or Russia, but I want to go first to Iran uh, because the administration is imposing these new uh, sanctions on Iran after these missile tests. Right. So I think we've heard a lot of really heated rhetoric about Iran, including those tweets that you just mentioned. But these sanctions that were put in place today are actually fairly similar to sanctions we put in place in the Obama administration over Iran's missile program. Look, I'm heartened that the Trump administration is making clear this isn't a violation of the nuclear deal and that they're taking steps that are actually fairly in line with what we did. What concerns me is the heated rhetoric and what the Trump administration has in plan for the future in terms of Iran. I don't know what their red line is. They talk about military action uh, sort of cavalierly, and I don't know where they're going with this policy. Well, we also know that the U.S. Navy moved the, the uh, destroyer into position off the coast of Yemen. Uh, obviously, there's deep concerns there. There are, and, and look, this is a region in crisis. You just have to watch, you know, five minutes of news to see that whether it's ISIS, whether it's Yemen, uh, there are so many issues in the Middle East that are really tricky for the United States right now. We don't need to start a new crisis with Iran uh, because someone likes to tweet at them. I think that the... So do you Trump disapprove of that? Because there's a lot of people who say, hey, this provides a lot of transparency. It's <laughs> tough to follow and know what's going on. The president's putting it out there, what's happening. And he's actually exchanging barbs with Iran on Twitter. And it does make it very clear what is happening between the two. Well, I think these issues are way too complicated and there's way too much chance of miscalculation or somebody to misunderstand something on Twitter uh, for really the president to be using that as a way mm -hmm. to talk to the Iranians. We talked to the Iranians a lot in the Obama administration, but because of how complicated these issues, because of the fact that one miscalculation could actually have really serious consequences for our security, mm -hmm. I don't think we should be doing diplomacy by Twitter. I do think it's irresponsible.